Hello everyone out there, this is Udeshya Singh from Smartware and today I am welcoming to you to our first coding challenge which was to make a web scrapper without using Beautiful Soup. Well, Beautiful Soup as we all know is one of the most famous utilities when it comes to web scraping in Python but what essentially Beautiful Soup does or is, is a web, uh, web parser basically XML or HTML parser. So, how did I come about this? Come round about this. So, we would be using simply, um, what do we say, a web crawler instead of a web parser to achieve the same web scraping information collection. So, the website which I will be using is this, Beyond 90 Minutes. Well, it's a football blog which Please, football, not soccer. It's called football. The football blog by a few of our seniors and a few of my classmates, actually. actually. And it's, really, it's got pretty much interesting stuff. So, what would be my aim is to, like, uh, get this, get this, uh, get a particular blog post, uh, what do I say, publishing date and title. Well, for example, a Strayer's Memoir and July to 2018. So I would need to store this information in a data frame and for that I would be using SquarePy. First of all, um, let's look at this structure. As you may notice, uh, every, uh, um, every blog post is enclosed in an article ID which is further enclosed in an entry header. This particular portion this particular portion is enclosed in an entry header right right here now and this particular title is enclosed in h2 class entry title so what i think that we will be using the web scraper to traverse through the through particular articles into headers and then through them to h2 class entry titles inside that there will be uh, a tag of which we need to extract the text right here, a stress memoir. And as for this <coughs> time class, we can see that uh, it's again enclosed in articles and header, and it's inside a span which has a class of posted on. What I'll be using is not exactly the class of entry date published. I will be using class updated to see what was the last update. All right. Well, there are two ways of going through this: is date using the attribute date time of the uh, time class, sorry, time tag, or simply just extract the text. Both would be equally good. If you need more information, you could use date time tag, sorry, date time attribute of this time, but what I will be doing is to simply extract this text. It would be equally good for me. Now, so how do we achieve this? We will be using a web scraper right here. This is the structure of my web scraper. I would be, uh, not exactly web scraper if I will say that again and again. It should be termed as web spider precisely. It's got, um, I will be using scrapeye. I will, be reject, I will be using rejects and pandas. Pandas for of course data frame purposes. Rejects to uh, clean the uh, data which we get. You will be seeing that we will be getting many Unicode characters which we will need to clean. And scrapeye of course the main crawler. So a proper scrapeye structure, prop scrapeye spider structure is creating a class with the uh, with the parent of scraper dot scrapeye dot spider, which gives us the basics uh, basic spider semantics given by given to us by scrapeye. And one interesting thing about scrapeye is that it is fully open source. Seriously, if you want to contribute, if you want to make it make something new and include your new patch into the official documentation, you can surely do that. Of course, by the permission of the of course, by the permission of what do I say? Um, owners, of course. Now, name is equal to football stadium. It's the name. It's the name of my uh, 
spider and the start urls is basically this the start url right here https the one which i need to scroll there you go this is it and then define parse this is the main method which we will be dealing with a lot it's got self and a response response is basically um uh what do i say it downloads the uh, web page which right here and then uh, and then gives the downloaded part right next to you so this is basically the main passing unit well this is a script let me show you one of the more interactive version of the same scrapey sorry scrapey shell i will be copying this yeah Come on, up and up. I will telling you what most of the parts do over here. So I would simply go fetch spider open and crawl. You can see the response. Two hundred. Two hundred means it's been correctly downloaded and. And basically, the connection is there between the server and the client, and it's confirmed that yes, the information, the requested information, has been given to us. So I would be doing response dot x path to extract all the H two headers within the a uh, all the a tags within the H two headers H two tags. Sorry, as you may see the architecture here. Expect this particular a tag is within an H2. Now either I could go to article, then then cracking to header, then cracking to what do I say span, and uh, then H2 and then A. Instead of that, what I will be doing is straight away grabbing all the H2 tags and inside them the A tags and go for texts. And then dot extract. See, all this as uh, you will be returned a list, and there you go. Every every item in the list is a Unicode character, as you might have expected. Right? So the this is a Unicode character which have been stored right here, tight in the title list. Response to export dot extract. What I am doing here is to provide the title list again. Simply for I in range, title i is equal to re dot sub. sub re dot sub is rejects dot substitute, which uh, substitute Unicode 2018 and 2019 to a simple uh, what do I say? Single single inverted comma, and uh, substituted in the title title list i its index. And return it to it. Moreover, as you might have seen, this is right here, one Unicode character which I have uh, so far seen, and the second Unicode character. I know that it's really, really um, not optimal way because the, your spider can fail any time a new character is introduced. But for the sake of um, what do I say, completing a challenge, I would be just doing it this way. If if you if your crawler fails any time, you can always uh, mention it in the YouTube comments, and I will look into it and update the code, of course. And then at the end, I am just going to uh, change the title into non-Unicode characters. Sorry, from Unicode to string, right here. And now I need to get. Response dot sorry response dot x path. Now, as I said, that I have just grabbed the titles. Now I also need um. What did I say again? Uh, published on, of course. So let's look at the structure of the published on. Right here. What I'm saying that get uh get down there to the a tags. Sorry, like this, 
get down to the a tags and then see the encapsulated time tag and now this particular thing you must be wondering what exactly is this what does this do is extract the particular class if any now as i said that there are two time tags and if i don't specify this class is equal to updated it will be giving me the updated time and the published time again and again let me give you an example uh, i would be copying and pasting this if what do i do if i don't include this class attribute here and just go for it but extract it will be giving me June 2 and June 2 again what then but why is it giving us so look right here if we do not uh, specify a class it has uh, it will consider both entry date published and updated again and again it's got July 2 it's got July 2 so the response dot extract will give you July 2, July 2, July 1, July 1 uh, exactly the way they have been updated now you may argue that I want published on but I have given the variable name as published on but I'm taking updated but I'm just doing it for the sake of easiness now just let's go for at class is equal to um what was this again updated and just yeah see right here it's been updated on july 2 i said july 1 now i must actually try this too entry date published Well, if you want, actually, let's just fix the code. Control C. Control V. Yeah, it works too. Anyways, now I would be converting this um, published on date to uh, strings, which is because it's particularly text, so converting from Unicode to string won't be too tough. And then this particular part, it doesn't do much. It just zips title and published on this and display it on CLS. I will tell you where. It's, I'm just trying to give it a list type, uh, key value pair type structure just for the sake of clarity. And this particular code right here, it just makes a data frame with type columns specified as title and publishing date and saves to two CSV in result.csv. And the result.csv should be this. Let me open. Sorry, guys. Uh, desktop. There it is. My scraper. Sorry, my, my scraper. Where is my scraper? Yeah, my scraper. And this is result.csv. This, this is where the data can be stored in .csv format. So let's run this. Of course. Uh, I would put exit here. Clear it. CD desktop CD um what was that my scraper and then I would hit scrape I run spider and scraper dot sorry scraper dot py okay and this wait Keep reading, keep reading. This is the version of Python which I'm using, and I think you should uh, take note of this. Yeah, there you go. So it has given me that it has crawled 200 uh, of course the site which are crawling and this is the CLI output which I was talking about it would give you results and a key value format see a spheres memoir and it was published in July 2, 2018 best players July 2018 Argentina of course July 2018 and that's pretty much how you get your result alright it 
it all has been stored in .csv format if you want to see. Um, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, my scraper is my scraper. Oh god, I need to clear my. <laughs> oh god, this is my scraper. Yeah, here it is. And dot .csv and just keep great. I will tell you where it's located. Okay. Nope. And this is how you do it. It's got title, you got publishing date, and space memoir and everything. So if it helps you to of course achieve your data science enthusiasm enthusiasm. So do like, share, and subscribe and challenge computer. And if there's anything else, any more challenge you want to provide me, I'm up for it. So do like, share and subscribe. And I will actually hang on one more thing. This is the uh, code, uh, GitHub code, GitHub repository actually, GitHub repository for the code. And um, you can of course go over here and if you don't want to write it out, there's always a scraper.py right here waiting for you. You can copy this and paste this and run. And of course, carry on from this. So do like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, good night.